The Employee Gateway is on location today at the John McKay Center. It's not open to the public, but it's where you'll find our, our athletes when they're not in training, but they're not on the field either. And Katie's going to tell us what they are doing. Hi, my name is Katie Ryan, and I'm an Assistant Sports Information Director here at USC. Let's go check out the John McKay Center. So are these screens always playing sports? A lot of the times they are, because that's what our student athletes typically like to watch. We can make it all one big screen, sometimes we can split it in two screens. And one of the really cool things we do with our football team every year is we'll have one half the screen where they're Skyping with soldiers from overseas that are relatively in their same age group. And the other side is a video game and they were playing Call of Duty with them while Skyping. And it's kind of a really cool juxtaposition of two different types of people, but they're in the same age bracket, and it's kind of a neat thing for our football players to do. It gives them some perspective. So what's going on behind us? So behind us is kind of a tribute to USC football, and it has a bunch of different statistics on the walls, like our 11 national championships, six Heisman trophies. And actually, right behind you is one of our national championship trophies. It's from the 2004 season. And over on that side of the wall, we have one ring for every single national championship we've won. And it's really interesting to look at them and see how they've transformed over the years. And you can actually go try one on. I can, I can try one on now? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do that. So this is one of the study spaces in the Stevens Academic Center, which is the first floor of the McKay Center. And in this room is this big study area, which allows our student athletes to come in, study in groups. And we also have some quiet rooms for individual study sessions where they can really dive into the academics. And lining the walls of this office are different academic advisors. And each team has at least one academic advisor that helps the student athletes stay on track with their classes, get classes, organize tutors, and basically make sure that they're academically eligible for competition. That's great. Yeah, yeah students first. Absolutely. So behind me here is our USC ambassadors wall. Each of these men in the photo behind me were USC legends on the football field here. And they're still really, really involved with our program and they like to come back and mentor our current football players. So back here we have people like Sam Cunningham, Keyshawn Johnson, Marcus Allen. Actually, right in the middle, we have our current athletic director, Lynn Swan. So we're we supposed to try to pull this out of the stone or something? <laughs> no, that's the Trojan sword. So this tunnel is the start of the All-American Walk, which is where the football players walk to and from practice. And the inscription above us reads a sound mind and a sound body. Do you want to go check out the All-American Walk? Let's do it. Cool. So this is the All-American Walk, and it portrays all of USC football's All-Americans dating all the way back to 1925. And when a player earns All-American status, a plaque is created for them with their name, photo, position, hometown, and the year that they earned All-American status. And it's pretty cool when our team walks by this wall going to and from practice. It's a really awesome reminder of the amazing football legacy we have here at USC. This is sweet. The University of Southern California has more NFL draft picks and first round draft picks than any other team in college football. Yeah, it's really impressive. And then this is our draft wall, which has the name of every single USC football player that's ever been drafted into the NFL. And when our team comes into this room for team meetings, they like to walk by this wall with the hopes of seeing their name up here someday. And then all the cardinal nameplates are representative of first round draft picks, and the gold means that that player was the number one overall draft pick. <laughs> that's amazing. And then this right here, this is our team room. So this is where our entire football team will come meet with Coach Helton as one big family and they'll discuss what's going on that day, discuss the practice and kind of the goings on of the program. Right on. Yeah. So does someone important sit here, like the quarterback? Oh yeah, totally. So, 
So this wall here details all of USC's bowl victories, and we actually have the second most bowl victories in NCAA history. Cool. Want to see something really cool though? Yeah. This is the 2017 Rose Bowl trophy, which we won against Penn State in a last second victory, 52 to 49. That's the trophy. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. <laughs> So over here, we have different pieces from USC football's history. And something that I find really interesting is the helmet that they used to play in in the 20s. That's a helmet? Yeah. I'm glad they have a little more protection now. I know, isn't it crazy? I can't believe they used to play in that. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the brains behind the operation of our football program. Behind us right here, we have the head coach's suite, and then also in this wing, we have all of our other coaches' offices, for example, the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, and all of our position coaches. Can I get some exclusive interviews? Oh, yeah, sure. So as we've seen, there's a lot of different pieces that go into making a college football program run outside of the players and the coaches, and one of those is national visibility. And whether it be televised games or ESPN College Game Day, you're always gonna find the Trojans on your TV on Saturday. Well, here's to all the staff that make the season happen. You've been on location with the Employee Gateway. Fight on. Fight on.